give you a little bit of an understanding of how we have marked our speakers today. There are eight categories that we have to mark them on. They are fluency and clarity. So how clearly you can understand what they were saying and how smoothly it flowed. Then their speed of their speech. So whether they spoke really quickly or really slowly. The eye contact that they made, whether they looked at just the people down the front or whether they looked around the room. Their posture, so whether they stood up nice and straight and they looked like they were relaxed up there. Enthusiasm and confidence. The length of their speech obviously influenced the marks that they got. Memorization, so whether they knew their speech up by heart or whether they spent a lot of time looking at their palm cards. And their depth of understanding, in other words, whether they really knew a lot about what they were talking about. So out of all of those, we've given them a mark out of four. And our total mark would have then ended up, ended up to 32. Now when Mrs. Naden, Mr. Tyler and myself went into the back room and looked at all of our marks, I think the difference between the person who came first and the other end of the spectrum, the person who came eighth, was only something like 27 to 32. So it was really, really close. And I'm sure that when we announce our winners, some people will go, yep, I think that was pretty close to the mark. Other people will go, well, no, we interpreted it differently. And that's okay. But um, as I hand over to Mrs. Naden, I just want to congratulate all of our speakers because I think they did a, a fantastic job. So we want to give them another round of applause. Good morning. Thank you everyone for inviting us along to listen to your wonderful speeches. It really was a pleasure to be invited. The three of us have been really impressed by all of your professionalism as public speakers. You're all extremely confident and you're able to work the room like pros. I'm certainly looking forward to working with all of you when you reach high school. It was an extremely difficult choice and that's why we were away for quite some time. There was a little bit of heated discussion there because it really was extremely difficult to determine who the overall winners were. But nevertheless, here we go. We've got a highly commended Luke Briscoe in year four. Well done, Luke. We found your speech extremely engaging. You have an excellent, confident manner. And what I really liked about Luke's speech is that he worked the room with his eyes the entire time. And I think that's a really important skill for public speakers to have. Well done. Our year three winner, Naomi Lou. Well done, Naomi. An really interesting, creative, original topic, which would have been really difficult to write. And I thought you did a stellar job. Well done. Our year four winner, Isabel Colvin. original, creative and humorous speech. And I love the way Isabel used personal anecdotes. So anecdotes are personal stories that we can use to highlight a point. And she certainly used some interesting, humorous stories from her family life to reinforce her arguments. So well done. Our overall winner this morning, very difficult